order to change the oil, you will have to purchase an oil filter, a pre-oil change cleaner and an oil collector. You can find the recommended parts and products in the video description as well as in the link to know the type of oil and the amount needed. Turn off the ignition, pull up the handbrake, pull on the bonnet release lever and open the bonnet. Open the oil fill plug. This will increase the oil flow when performing an oil change. Before changing your oil, we advise adding a draining cleaner to the used oil in your engine. This will enable you to unclog your engine and get rid of any persistent residue to reduce your consumption of oil and fuel and to reduce the polluting emissions as part of a technical checkup. Before using it, start your vehicle for five minutes so that the oil is slightly warm. Then add the product and leave your engine turning over slowly for 10 to 15 minutes. Once the product has been added, you must not drive your car. Ensure that you change the oil immediately afterwards. In order to train your vehicle, you must first lift the front section of your car. This will enable you to access the drain nut. Lift the front of your vehicle and put it into axle stands. We strongly suggest watching the tutorial Racing Your Vehicle Safely before carrying out this step. Take off the drain nut, start the process using a socket wrench and a Torx T45 socket, then finish off by hand. Be careful, on the last few turns of the screw, the oil may suddenly squirt out. Anticipate this by placing a container underneath to collect the oil. You can learn how to make one by watching another of our videos, How to Make a Collector for Liquids. Let the oil run out for 10 minutes or so. Put the nut back on. Start the process by hand and finish tightening it in place with a socket wrench and a Torx T45 socket. When you change the oil in your car, you must also replace the oil filter. To collect the oil contained in the filter that might come out when it is removed, place a liquid collector underneath. To be able to access the oil filter, you must disconnect and separate the air supply conduit. With a small socket wrench and a 7mm socket, release the clip on the air supply conduit. Then remove it. Using a socket wrench, a long extender and a 32mm socket, you can now unscrew the oil filter flange by unscrewing it in an anti-clockwise direction. Finish the unscrewing process by hand and remove the filter. Place it into the liquid collector so that it doesn't drip oil in the engine. Start by cleaning the filter flange with brake cleaning fluid and a piece of tissue. Now, with a thin flathead screwdriver, remove the rubber O-ring seal which is located under the flange washer. Take the new filter. and three seals found in the box.
put them in place on the filter under flange, being sure to oil the surface well. Put the filter back in place and screw it by hand until there's a contact between the seal and the frame. To tighten it, take a socket wrench, an extender and a 32mm socket. Tighten it until there's contact between the washer and the metal housing of the filter and force a little. For this step, you can also use a dynametric key set to 25 newtons meter. Careful! With this kind of oil filter, the new joint can be excessively thick, making the actual tightening process more complicated. As a result, you have to ensure that the flange washer is flat against the metal engine frame. Don't force it too much as the part is fragile. Reassemble the air supply conduit and tighten the metal clamp. Clip the cable back onto the airflow meter connector. Now, you have to put the oil back into the motor. You have to be very careful and precise when doing this part of the job. Firstly, lower your car back to the ground and check the oil level. This is something that can only be done when the vehicle is flat. Now, add oil into the engine. Begin by putting 90% of the suggested amount. This will leave you a large enough margin to adjust the level of oil appropriately. You can find the exact amount of oil suggested for your car in the description of the tutorial. Close the oil fill plug, start the engine and let the car run for 30 seconds. This will fill the oil filter. Remove the oil gauge and wipe it down. Plunge it back into its sheath, remove it again and check the oil level. The optimal level is near the maximum, but be careful to never go over it. Based on the level indicated on the gauge, readjust to obtain the optimum amount. Operation completed.